Over the past years, my iPad has become my digital best friend. While I use it to watch my favorite shows or edit photos and video, I use it most and foremost as my productivity device. Yep, I journal on it every morning, take notes on it during my work days and plan my entire week on it as well. To do so, I need various tools, including a journal and a digital planner. And lucky me, Paperlike actually offers both. I'm Jean with Paperlike and in this video, I'll walk you through the Paperlike Pro Journal and the Paperlike Pro Planner. And if you stay up until the end, I will still give you a few tips on how to best use them. Now, before I get to it, I think there are a few things that are worth mentioning. First, both Journal and Planner are hyperlink PDFs optimized for quick and easy navigation. You can use them on pretty much any PDF capable note-taking app out there. GoodNotes, Notability, NoteShelf, Nebo, or even Apple Notes are just a few of my recommendations, but any other note-taking app that you might prefer over these ones will do the job too. If you're new to this and you don't really know where to start when it comes to note-taking apps, I'll link a video that we posted on that subject just at the end of this one. Secondly, I'd like to show you how to actually import the PDF into a note-taking app. Here I'm using GoodNotes because it's the app I use mostly, but opening it in any other note-taking app will pretty much follow the same process. Let's say I just downloaded my PDF. After finding it in the Finder, I long tap on it, I tap here to share it, and I choose the app I want to share it to. I import it as a new document to the folder of my choice. Now, when I open GoodNotes, I can find my file right away. Lastly, and if this is your first time using a hyperlink PDF like this one, well, keep in mind that the app most likely has an edit mode and a view mode. In edit mode, you will be able to add content to your file using your stylus or keyboard. However, navigation can be quite difficult because, well, every time you tap your screen with your stylus, you'll be writing. Now, if you switch to view mode, all editing is disabled and you can freely tap on any of the hyperlinks in your document, thus making it so much easier to navigate between pages without erasing anything you wrote down or adding unnecessary lines to it. Again, this is what happens on edit mode and this is what happens on view mode. Hope this helps. Okay, now that we have these out of the way, let us move to the Pro Journal first. The Pro Journal is available in vertical or horizontal modes and you can set your week to start either on Monday or on Sunday. Once you have opened it in your note-taking app, this is what you see. Your journal features a legend page where you can track new habits, You'll also find a mood wheel to help you identify how you're feeling. Now, the journal is made out of year, month, week and day pages starting December 15, 2024 and going all the way to December 31st, 2025. All of which are hyperlinked for easy navigation, but hey, let me show you how. The year page displays all 12 monthly calendars. Tap on the name of any month to navigate to the corresponding month page. This one shows each day of the month to help you map out important events or your goals for the month, for example. You can also navigate back to the year page by tapping on the name of the month. The week and month ribbons can be used to navigate to any week or month. As you can see here, the current month is highlighted in blue so you can locate yourself easily. The week page shows each day of the week and features hourly time slots to schedule important events and plan your week. As for the previous page, any of the menus on this one can be used to navigate to other pages. Now, if I tap on any date here, I navigate to that specific day page. Each daily page features a blank space for free writing and includes weather, habits and mood tracker with hyperlinks back to the initial legend page. This allows you to easily reference the mood wheel or the habits you actually outlined here. Note that at the end of each month, you'll find a monthly summary you can use it to add additional notes, identify highlights or patterns in your moods and habits. You can sketch, you can doodle, you can pretty much use it for whatever you want. Now, one thing you might have noticed by now is that Paperlike's Pro Journal is stripped of any complexity. The vast majority of the pages are blank by design, allowing new writers out there to journal in the way you see fit. Whether you're into open form journaling or you're more into prompts, this journal fits the bill. 
Now, my recommendation is that once a year, you sit down and have a journal review. Just take some time and go over every year's page to just evaluate what happened, if good, if bad. And with that, just try to take action to do more or less of the things that really matter to you. The Paper Like Pro journal is available through the link in description. And this is a lifetime purchase, by the way. Buying your Paper Like Pro journal in 2025 means that you will get a free update every single year. Just like the Pro Journal, the Pro Planner is available in vertical or horizontal modes and you can set the week to start on Monday or Sunday. Plus, it comes with optional journaling features as well. When purchasing the Pro Planner, you can choose to download the planner alone, the planner and the journal separated or include the journal into the planner's layout. This basically means that if you buy Paper Likes Pro Planner, the Pro Journal comes included. The Pro Planner consists of year, month, week and day pages, so you can effectively plan out your year. All those pages are obviously hyperlinked for easy navigation. The year page displays all 12 monthly calendars. Tap on any month to navigate to the corresponding month page. Here on the month page, you can see each day of the month to help you map out important events. On the left and on the right side, you can find the week and month menus respectively. From here, you can navigate to any of the weeks and days in the current month or to any other month. The week page shows every day of the week and features time slots to schedule important events. These two ribbons are interactive and can be used for navigation as well. By tapping on any of the days, I land on the corresponding day page or pages because if you chose to combine journal and planner, every day will come with dedicated planning and journaling pages. Now, on the planning pages, you'll find your standard spaces for to-do lists, top priorities or daily schedule. This comprises hourly time slots to help you schedule your events. Down here, you get a free space to take notes, doodle or sketch, for example. From this page, you can still navigate to any week of the corresponding month or to any month you want. Paper Likes Pro Planner is available through the link in the description. Plus, just like the journal, this is a lifetime purchase. So if you purchase this version next year at the same time, you'll get a free update and the year after that as well. Okay, if you stayed with me up until now, you really deserve some free tips to better use your planner or journal. Starting with this. Some days you might feel that one page is just not enough for you to write everything you need to. And when that happens, you can easily duplicate the page from your PDF. Here in GoodNotes, for example, it's fairly easy. I just simply type here, here, voila, I just added a page to my planner and I can still use the menus to navigate. Now, what's really great with such hyperlinked products is that you can easily copy paste content from one place to another if you need to. By using iPadOS's stage manager, you can open multiple instances of your planner or journal at once. When planning your month, for example, you can open a week and day pages side by side and copy and paste your entire day schedule from week to day pages or the other way around, which I find personally is super useful. And hey, one last tip just before I leave you. My journaling sessions are usually just morning brain dumps, some free writing as you will. I basically just jot down anything that's on my mind to kind of declutter my brain before I start working. And sometimes, sometimes I actually write some pretty cool video ideas down. Forget about them up until the moment where I want to retrieve them and work on them. When that happens, I just type the subject of the idea and ta-da, here it is. And this is not specific to GoodNotes, by the way. Most note-taking apps out there actually come with pretty cool search capabilities. And I have to say that returning to my random ideas is actually one of the reasons I started journaling on my iPad. And this actually rounds up this video. I really hope this was helpful. And as you stayed with me up until the end, here's the video I promised where I take you through all the best note-taking apps on your iPad. Thanks so much for watching. And I see you next time.